hello everyone in this lecture we are taking another problem which can be solved through the dynamic programming and uh, this is the one dimensional problem uh, we what we are following the flow in the dynamic programming that we will be first taking the 1d problems then the 2d problems and then the 3d problems so here 1d 2d or 3d is actually referring to the type of the table that we are going to use here we are using only a single dimension memory table to find the answers and uh, uh, let's say in the ladder problem what is there that there is a ladder and it has some steps okay let's say 100 step for example and what do you what what is the uh, concept given here that being on the ground you can either take one step or you can take two steps simultaneously or you can take three steps simultaneously okay you must have seen the behavior of the children that what they actually do that they do not uh, go one step in the in the, in the stair they take two steps simultaneously okay they're skipping the one so similarly some of the people uh, skip the two one and they just reach to the third step directly so this is here what is given that you can take one step at a time you can take two step at a time and you can take three steps at a time so it is being asked that you are now at the ground and now you have to reach to the top some of the steps are there in between so what are the total number of ways by which you can reach to the top okay so for finding so it is given that you can take one step or two step or three step together suppose this is the top and you are here so how many ways by how many ways you can reach at the top there is only one way okay and now let's say you have you are here now you can take two steps and you can reach to the destination and let's say you are here now here you can take three steps and you can reach to the destination okay so if this is the nth step then this will be n minus first step this will be n minus second step this will be n minus third step so if you have already reached to the n minus third step so there is only one way by which you can reach to the nth step by taking the three step together although there are the ways by which you can take one single step and you can, then you can reach to the nth step let's say that's let's say we are doing they taking the three steps and reaching to the top and let's say we are at here then you can take two steps simultaneously to reach to the top if you are here you may take one step to reach to the top so if we have to find out the ladder n which is actually denoting what are the total number of ways by which you can reach to the top given n number of steps so this actually is equals to ladder n minus 1 if you have already reached what are the various ways by which you have reached here because after this you will take one step and you will reach to the top plus ladder n minus 2 what are the total number of ways by which you have reached to the n minus second step because you will take one step two steps simultaneously and you will reach to the top or you have reached to the n minus third step so what are the ways total number of ways by which you have reached to this step n minus third and you will in in a single lap only you will reach to the top fine so this has actually become the recursive formula for finding out the total number of ways by which you, you can reach to the top okay let's take an example of this let's say we have to reach to the third which means the number of uh, uh, total number of uh, the steps are n equals to 3 okay so there are three steps only you are here at the ground <coughs> so one of the ways to reach to the third step is you take one again one and again one so one of the ways okay another way could be you're taking one step and then two step simultaneously so that is the other way one step to reach to the first and then you are taking two steps to reach to the top another way could be you're taking two step to reach to the second one and then you are in the second step you are uh, taking only one step to reach to the third so that is another way fine and the last one is that you take three steps simultaneously to reach to the top so the total number of ways here are four 
okay total number of ways here are four and if you apply this to this formula this ladder three this is equals to ladder n minus one that is ladder two and then ladder one n minus two and ladder zero that is n minus three now let's say you are at the ground and there is no step so that means you are already at the destination so what are the total number of ways by which you can reach to the destination that is one it means the value of ladder zero will be equals to one this can be treated as the base condition i again repeat that if you are already at the ground and there is no step so that means you are already at the destination so what are the total number of ways by which you can reach from source to the destination will be one okay and let's say there is only one step here is the ground so there is only one way to reach to the destination okay you will take one step and you will reach to the destination because you cannot reach to the destination in two steps you cannot reach the destination in three step so the value of ladder 1 is also one okay so we have found the value of this and found the value of this and the ladder two let's say there are two steps so what are the various ways by which you can reach to the destination you take one step to reach to the first step again take one step to reach to the second so there is one way this and then you take two laps together and reach to the destination so there are two ways by which which you can reach to the destination so here we have found that ladder two is what two okay putting all these values here what you found here ladder 3 is equals to ladder 2 that is 2 plus ladder 1 that is 1 and ladder 0 that is 1 so there are four number of ways by which you can reach to the destination okay now <coughs> uh for the sake of simplicity what we are taking is the only ladder 0 value is taken as 1 which is the base condition and ladder minus 1 or any negative value okay any negative value passed in this function will actually result in 0 because that is actually telling you the the invalid number of the steps so if you have invalid number of the steps this will return 0 so this can also be treated as the base condition for example let's say we are finding the ladder 2 ladder 1 let's say so by the formula it will be calling ladder n minus 1 that is 0 plus ladder n minus 2 that is minus 1 plus ladder n minus 2 n minus uh, sorry n minus uh, 3 that is ladder minus 2 so the value of these two will be zero as a base condition because the value passed inside this is negative and ladder zero will be one this is also the base condition so 1 plus 0 plus 0 by this we can find the value of ladder 1 so now <coughs> let us write the recursive function for this we will first write the recursive function and then we will convert that to uh, the dynamic programming solution with the help of the memoization so here we have a value n which is passed and if the value of n is 0 we will return 0 as a base condition and then if the value of n is negative if the value of n is less than 0 so then we will return 0 sorry if we have n is 0 we will return 1 because there is one way to reach to the destination fine otherwise my means neither n is less than 0 nor less this the n is 0 it will certainly be greater than 0 in that case you will be returning ladder n minus 1 plus ladder n minus 2 plus ladder n minus 3 See, much similar to the the Fibonacci series that we found. So here, what is happening that uh, it will be making so many calls, so many redundant calls, because once again, this is the recursion tree. The complexity would be 
somewhere in the exponentiation. Okay, so we have to reduce this. So how can we reduce that? Once again, we'll be taking the memory table. We will be setting up some of the values here in the memory table as the initial values that is zero. Okay, let's say this is the memory table. Then the ladder zero is denoting one. And then for finding out the ladder one, we'll be making the recursive calls and whatever value will be returned will be set it set as here. Okay. And once we have set the value of uh, some some index here, we do not need to make the recursive calls again. Those values can be taken from here and can be returned. So let us now write these non uh, sorry recursive solution with the memoization concept. That means the direct address table. <coughs> Let's take this is the ladder problem. The value of n is passed here, and the total number of ways to find the solution is returned. Now the base condition says, if the value of n is less than zero, then return minus one. Else. If n is 0, then the memoization table is set as 1, m0 is set as 1. Otherwise, we have to find out the mn and if we have already found the value of mn, we will not be making the recursive calls, we will be returning the direct value from the table itself. So let us check if mn is zero at this means we need to call the recursive functions and this if this is so <coughs> you will be calling the function ladder n minus one plus ladder n minus two plus ladder n minus three and then whatever is the value of uh, this is stored in the memory table at nth index and then finally we can return mn okay so if mn is not zero that means that value has already been found then we will be returning directly from the memory table if not then we will be calling these three functions and the added value of these three will be stored at nth index in the memory table and then we can return it finally so we'll be saving a lot of space sorry a lot of time here so from exponential complexity to the linear complexity once again and this actually is the dynamic programming solution thank you